Hey, what's up to the tube? What's up, Corey CTV? Uh, thought I would jump in real quick with your video response or your the video you posted, the right to die. Um, I, I really have to actually agree with the title that a person should have the right to decide when enough is enough or the cards have fallen where they may and natural selection or just life in general has taken taken hold. Um, Nobody wants to say goodbye to a loved one, and nobody wants to think that today is their last day on Earth, but as humans or as an animal species, uh, it, it is vastly out of our control. You know, you could run a hundred miles a day and be taken out by a guy ready to have a heart attack in a truck, you know. It's, uh, humans can't control everything. Uh, w with the medical system the way it is, there is hundreds of thousands of dollars, uh, hundreds of worker hours and whatnot wasted on people who just really need to accept the inevitable that uh, your days are up. It doesn't matter if you're 16 or 99. Some people, your, your day will be up. Um, I have a lot of friends that work in the medical profession and will tell me about uh, organ donors and people who receive operations who then do not change their lives post-operation, uh, continue smoking, continue drinking, doing drugs, uh, living an unhealthy lifestyle, etc. When those same resources and uh, the time could be spent on somebody who does want to make the change and enjoy life and is willing to work for what they're what they've been given. Um, I know if I was 75 years old and had three hundred thousand dollars in a bank account I would say yeah pull the plug take my money have some fun uh, you're n I'm not gonna be the same person that you want to know and remember while I'm sitting there on machines uh, w when you think about the person's right to die it also makes me think of suicide and I have had some friends in my life who are unhappy with the life that they have been given and although I never want this to be the case I feel that each person has the right to decide whether to uh, exist or not exist. Um, I've heard it quoted as it's a permanent fix to a temporary problem and do, do not advocate it whatsoever. It's going to be way harder on the people that you think you care about than it is for yourself. Um, lucky to have a lot of level-headed family and friends who I don't feel that would ever be a situation. Um, but again, back to the root, as far as the right to die, although for the medical complex, it's a huge amount of money to be generated, but from a human standpoint, do you really want to be that person on life support that your family can come and look at out of obligation for uh, 45 minutes a day while everything you work so hard for in your lifetime is being doled out to the hospitals and the doctors, etc.? Um, I know it's a sensitive subject and a lot of people have religion, uh, family, and personal beliefs just that have a huge, are a huge spoke on that wheel. Um, again though, I do feel that it is a very personal right and as much as somebody writes out a will and testament, they should have it outlined as to what their standards of life should be um, supported in a hospital. Uh, hope everybody has a good upcoming weekend. I may post again. If not, uh, it's up to the tube.